So what's the right size of an air conditioner or heat pump for your home? And how do you determine what size is best for you? We'll break it down in this video. Hi, I'm Brian, one of the residential sales professionals for Fire and Ice. When we talk about the size of an air conditioner, we use something called a manual J load calculation to determine the exact size of the system that is best for your home. We do this calculation on every estimate we give because every home has different heating and cooling needs. In this video, we'll cover what's a manual J load calculation? Why do you need a calculation? What's the process involved? What are some factors that can change the calculation? And finally, what are the ranges in size for your home? By the end of this video, you will know what a manual J load calculation is and how it's used to determine the best cooling solution for your home. So let's jump into the first question. What's a manual J load calculation? A manual J load calculation is the preferred method, a standardized form that allows a professional to determine the amount of heat gain and heat loss that your home naturally gets based on several factors. Why do you need a calculation? Well, every home is different, every home is unique. Size of the equipment is imperative. Bigger is not better in HVAC world, small has its problems too. The right size is imperative to make sure that your system is heating and cooling exactly how it should for the needs of your home. What's the process involved? The first thing we do is we will determine the amount of square footage usually based on government factors with the auditor site. We also be able to determine the amount of exterior features, which is mostly walls and ceilings and roofs. The other thing that you would have us do is we would go out and measure the windows and doors of your home, and then also make sure that we are looking in the right direction based on how much sunlight will be a factor in your home. What are some factors that can change the calculation? Well, many factors can change the calculation. Again, a home is custom, they're all different. Sunlight comes in from different directions, sets in the west, rises in the east. So if the, your home is facing a certain direction, you have many windows on one side versus the other, the sun is gonna be inside your home a lot more than another house facing a different direction. It also will determine if it's one story or two story. You'll have more insulation between floors in a two story house than you would in a one story house. So now that you have the calculation, what are the ranges in size for your home? Well, typically we will have ranges from one and a half ton up to five, and they will range up in about half ton size increments up to four, and then from four to five. There is no four and a half ton size. So once you have calculated this manual J load, what does it mean? You'll have two specific numbers and it will be the amount of BTUs of heat gain or heat loss in your home. Now what do you do with them? Well in cooling for instance, we need to know that for every 12,000 BTUs of heat gain your house naturally receives, you need one ton of air conditioning. That's where a professional can take those calculations and design the perfect size for your home so that it will satisfy the amount of heat gain and or heat loss that you need. So now that you know what is required in order to get the right size of an air conditioner or heat pump, visit our website and schedule a time for a free estimate. Typically, I or another residential sales professional will then work with you to select the best cooling solution for your home. Thank you for watching, and we are looking forward to making your day better.